Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the second thought. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Exodus 22, 21 through 24, 18. Psalm 19, 7 through 14. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. And Matthew 24, 36 through 51. Again, we're going to be talking about the second thought. Our focal passage today will be Proverbs 4, 20 and 21. It says, My son, pay attention to my words. Listen closely to my sayings. Don't lose sight of them. Keep them in your heart. To get the best out of life, said Pascal, great matters have to be given a second thought. Meditation is, is just that just that giving biblical truths a second thought if you have been thinking that the way to get the best out of the Bible is by reading it studying it and memorizing it then I urge you to think again I have found that the way the be and to get the best out of the Bible is by meditating upon it reading studying and memorizing the Bible in the main intellectual exercises which bring spiritual results. Meditation is not primarily an intellectual exercise but a devotion exer devotional exercise. A way by which the Word of God is carried into the spiritual digestive system so that it can be translated into spiritual nourishment and energy. Be careful that you do not misunderstand me here. I'm not saying that reading and studying and memorizing the Bible are not important spiritual exercises. I strongly advocate for them. But it is possible to do all these things and yet fail to draw from the scriptures the spiritual nourishment that God has put within them. This comes largely from meditation. To ensure that this matter is crystal clear, let's go over it once again. Meditation is the process by which we take a text, thought, or phrase from the Word of God and roll it around in our mind, passing it back and forth, backward and forward, letting it go out of conscious thought, bringing it back again into consciousness, prodding it, absorbing it, admiring it over and over again until its inherent power pervades our whole personality. God has gone in into His Word and God has come out of it. Meditation is the way. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, if great matters need second thoughts, then help us to slow down and take the time to meditate on the truths that are contained in your precious word. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Colossians 3, 1 through 16, Deuteronomy 6, 6, and Philippians 4, 8, and Jeremiah 15, 16, and keep these two questions in mind. What does the word dwell mean? And how did the prophet Jeremiah put it? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow us here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.